I've always seen myself as a ballerina, but it was really difficult when I was having this image pushed on me as to what a ballerina was, because I've always thought that I was that. Misty's upbringing was loving, but chaotic. I was 13 years old, living in a motel with my single mother and five of my siblings. She talked about going into her mother's bedroom and just dancing. She had her first dance lesson at a boys and girls club in a pair of cutoffs and sneakers. That's not a very auspicious beginning. I was terrified. I didn't want to be there. But there was something about the structure of ballet that taught me to communicate with my body. I saw myself in the mirror for the first time and I felt powerful. Misty Copeland is set to become a breakout ballet star. Misty Copeland, to the critics who said she'd never be a star. I think people that are on the outside and see the success, I don't think understand the work that can't be faked to get to this point. Misty had gotten the part as the Firebird. She was really at a pinnacle in her career, dancing through this incredible pain. I have a plate in my shin. A, me a metal plate in your shin. How long is the plate? That long. I'm in a lot of pain still. I literally just reassessed my technique and kind of started from scratch and had to learn a new way of approaching what I'd been doing almost my whole life. We reported last week she was just named a principal dancer. Becoming the first African-American female principal in the American Ballet Theater's 75-year history. No, I never thought I'd be here. <laughs> It's the idea of all these artists who strove and strove and strove and couldn't, kept hitting that ceiling. And she's, she's the breakthrough. I often say to Misty, may I be the wind at your back when you go on the stage tonight? I was told they could never have a black swan queen. There I sit in the audience and I see Misty accomplishing this. Yes, it can be accomplished, it can be done. She has just boldly blazed her own path despite what anybody else thinks about it. Something that's really important to me is connecting with someone that I'm mentoring. The first time I met Misty was at a PSA that we were both doing for the Boys and Girls Club of America because we both had lives that were transformed by the Boys and Girls Club. <laughs> Misty makes me want to feel like I want to be just like her when I grow up. When I dance, I say what I feel. It's important for them to be able to see themselves in whatever it is that they want to do. If you can see it, you can be it. To be a ballerina, to be a black woman, and to be powerful is setting a new standard for, I think, how people view what power is. She's the reality of where we're going in the future. We're going through, through the wall now. Misty is not just here to become a star. She sees herself as a vehicle 